Many years ago, there was a management theorist who wrote about Theory X and Theory Y management. According to Theory X, people are inherently lazy and need to be driven or motivated. According to Theory Y, people are inherently wanting to do work and need to be inspired to do so. So on the one hand, you have people who need to be pushed to do work. And on the other hand, you have people who intrinsically want to work and therefore need to be led to do work. The type of leader that we are depends on whether we subscribe to Theory X or Theory Y. Are the people under your employ inherently lazy or are the people under your employ inherently industrious? So, if you believe in theory X, then you will drive your people. And when faced with any challenges, you'll wonder why they are such a lazy bunch. If you believe in theory why, you'll seek to inspire your people. And when faced with obstacles, you'll wonder what is causing the anomaly and how you can fix it so that your people's natural tendency to do work will be unhindered. So what you believe place a big role in what you actually end up doing. There was a social experiment where a bunch of teachers were given a class, classes of students who were of mixed academic performance. And one set of teachers were told that they were given the slow class and one set of teachers were told that they were given a gifted class when in fact both sets of classes were made up of students of mixed academic performance and what happened at the end of the experiment period is that the teachers who were given the mixed class but were told that they had slow students produced a class full of low academic results. Whereas the teachers who were given a class of mixed academic students were told that they had been given a class of gifted students, produced a class full of high academic results. So, if you are surrounded by people who are lazy and incompetent and constantly need to be driven, Examine what's in your head. If you are surrounded by a bunch of gifted, inspired, motivated people, I can bet that you are a gifted, inspired, motivated person. We do not see the world as it is. We see the world as we are. And so, haters gonna hate. Lovers 
gonna love. Losers gonna lose. And winners gonna win. People who believe themselves to be losers look at winners and complain that the world is unfair. Winners who are winning look at losers and think how nice it would be if they could believe in themselves and win. By the way, winners who denigrate losers are not actually winners. They are just losers on a winning streak. Winners who are inherently winners tend to see winners everywhere. And even within someone who is losing, they see the potential winner within them. So here's the news. Good news or bad news largely depends on yourself, on myself. If you see a world full of losers, full of incompetent people, full of stubborn people, guess what? But if you see a world full of inspiring people, full of winners, full of even strugglers who are struggling to improve themselves, guess what? You are probably a winner. You are probably an inspired person. I'll leave it at that. What you see in the world around you, it is a 360 degree mirror of who you are inside. 